Hello? Hi, Jim. My name is Sheldon. I'll be your senior consultant today. You have about $30,000 in debt. Is that correct? Yeah. Could you hold on a second? I got another call just real quick. Let me get rid of him. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. Hello? Nope. No worries. Yeah, so I'm about 30000 30, I got, you know, an IRS debt from 2019, it looks like. Well, yeah, our company could definitely help you out with that. Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? No, I, I, thought I, I thought I hung up. I thought I clicked them off. Oh, did you merge the other call? <laughs> well, we might be able to give you a better deal. On what? On getting your settlement. Jim, we 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 can help you out, man. Let's. Okay. We'll, we'll well, we we can help you out also, Jim. Well, I just want to do one call at a time. Which one? My name is Shelton. I'm not. Yeah, Shelton. Sure yeah, that's one. why I'm, I want to talk to you, Shelton, and then maybe let yeah, me see sure. what you guys got to offer. And... Well, my name's Joseph. Sure. Okay. What do you guys offer, Shelton? If you would like, it sounds like Joseph wants to tag along, and we can go ahead and I call you back here, or are you able to kick Joseph off? Right, but he got in touch with us, with our company, about settling his uh, IRS debt. I hear, you, debt. I hear you. I hear you, buddy. But uh, we're on the phone. He said he wanted to speak to me. I don't know if disrespecting his wishes is probably the, the best move. Yeah, he but is. He asked to speak with us. I mean, he said he'd give, give you a call, man, so just... Let us chat it out, and if, like he said, he'll give you a call back. We could help you out with bankruptcy. We could help you out with student loans. Jim, everything he's saying we can do. I'm just not going to, you know, strong arm or you make you an uncomfortable situation. No, I'd rather talk to you, Sheldon, because I had um, you guys first on the call. I think I called at the same time. Joseph, you good, man? You all right, buddy? You got something to get off your chest? Nope, just trying to help Mr. Bondi out. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. Jim, you want to go ahead and do this? I'll give you a call back. No, I do want to do this. Um, Let's sure. just ignore uh, Joseph. Have you ever filed for bankruptcy? No. Joseph, I think he, you're, if you're going to stop saying listen, that's fine, but interrupting me while I'm speaking is not going to work, Bubba. Yeah. Well, you weren't speaking, though. No, I was. You interrupted me as before I could say anything. Uh, you just interrupted me, though. You're clever, man. I appreciate your energy. What about student loans? Jim, this this always isn't working, man. With him interrupting, so what I'm going to do is give you a call right back. I'm just trying to ignore him. Well, you can't ignore the IRS. Can you make sense to Joseph and maybe you know explain to him that it's just between me and you? I don't know what to say at this point. What about credit card debt? Okay. None of these things have anything to do with your 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 the federal, Joseph. So if you were listening to the conversation, you realize we'll get to that eventually. Um, well, I got it to uh, I got to it quicker. Well, you're not, you're not gathering the other information of where the 30K came from, Joseph. No, well, we're, we work a little faster. Okay. What else you do, Joseph? He's gone he's, now? I think so, yeah. All right, cool. What the hell was that? That was that was, that was was strange. So you guys could help with uh, credit card and also student loan debt? Yes, sir. Yeah, our company can definitely help you out that way. We can consolidate all that debt. Jim, what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I, I, I can't have the pitch with this guy on the line. So uh, I can do the call with Shelton on the line. Uh, let's hear your plan, Joseph. We have to finish uh, the, the preliminary questions. Yep, just like I'm trying to finish All right. the questions, right? I'm not getting in the way. You are, though. Yeah, I mean, so Joseph. If you want to hang up and allow us to take over the call now and quit being immature, you can. Or you can continue to be unethical. So you, you make the call off. Yeah, Joseph, I'd rather, you know, I don't want someone that's going to be unethical. I got a, you know, a debt problem here. Right, but he's accusing me of being unethical. I mean, that's not fair. But are you? Of course not. I'm trying to help you. All right, Jim, I'm going to give you a call back, man. I can't can't do this with him on the line, man. I'm sorry though. No, but I appreciate I'm, it. I'm, yeah, I'm, see, he doesn't want to help you. He doesn't want to help you out. That's the problem. So I'll stay on the right. line. Joseph, you're more than welcome to give me a call if you want to talk, chat about this after the fact, too, okay? If you have some debt, I could help you out. Jim, I'll give you a call here shortly, okay? I could help you both out. How's that going to work, though? Hello? Hey, Jim? Yeah, it's Sheldon. Yes, Sheldon. sir. Yeah, Sheldon, yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks for calling back, man. Hopefully we can get this thing done with uh, Joseph off the phone. Okay, so you made 80K in 2019. You're a supervisor at Home Depot, correct? Yeah. So do you think you owe 30 or do you think you shouldn't owe anything at all? Well, 30 grand, we could definitely help you out with. That's... <laughs> all right. You guys are punking. That's cool. That's fun. That was good. You guys are good. I Stop think it's it. coming from you guys because I'm on my cell phone. All so right, man. Come I... on, Jim. Jim. I'm Please trying call to. Us again unless you ask Jim. You, now you're you're just as, just as guilty now. I don't know why, what the problem is, Sheldon. I mean. Come on, Jim. Come on, what? I got debt and all that other stuff and the tax stuff, so the IRS. Right, so how much student loan debt do you have, man? I student loan about twelve grand. 
four years and you only owe twelve grand, did you pay a lot of it back off? Or? I paid a lot of it off, yeah. Okay. Where'd you go to school? JMU. What degree did you graduate with? Yeah, but what does this have to do with my loan? I'm, because I my degree know was if you in. graduated or what you graduated with, it allows me to know if you're able for forgiveness. No, I, it's, it's, it's unethical to ask that kind of question. Joseph, what company do you work with? Oh, now he's a coward. Yeah, um, I know now he's not talking. Yeah, so we've got student loans. How much credit card debt do you have? Because you mentioned that as well. Like I was saying before, um, could I, you know, just merge all no, three? No, Barry said we couldn't do that, Jim. Ask him twice. Is not going to fix that? Yeah, our company yeah. our company can consolidate them. Oh, we're lying again, Joseph. So you're saying that no company could consolidate all the debts? No, sir. That is incorrect. Why would Joseph say that he could? Uh, the same reason why Joseph is on the line, because he's lying. Yeah. See, I don't know who to trust. Mr. Bondi, it's a good thing I stayed on the line. This has become very unethical. Joseph, you're telling me that he shouldn't be asking me these questions. No, he shouldn't. And if he really wants some help with your IRS debt, we can continue the conversation. Maybe you could hang up on Shelton. So, Shelton, you know what? I'm going to go with Joseph. So, goodbye. Hello? Hello, this is Leonard calling on a recorded line about the interest in solar for the home. This is on a recorded line, you said? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, yes, just want to verify some information, and we can get you set up for a free estimate. No, uh, excuse me. This is the supervisor monitoring oh. the recorded line. Uh, Leonard, uh, do you need you to speak up a little bit? Uh, the recording device is not picking up what you're saying. Thank you. Is that your supervisor? Because um, I only have the one line here. Or your? Yeah. Okay, may I get your street address so I can see how that roof lies? I thought you could put them up anywhere. It all depends upon, you know, the exposure to the sun that you have. Not a sun. It's sunny out. I could see the sun. Right, but that doesn't mean that you have exposure on your roof to it. On my what? On your roof. What's a roof? Hi, it's the supervisor, uh, Leonard. It's 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 pronounced roof. We don't say roof at this company, Leonard. Thank you. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, you, uh, it's not your company. Uh, so on whose uh, company is it? Hi, it's the supervisor again. I uh, monitor I, the line and I do record it. the line. Good day, sir. This is a this is a conversation between me and Mr. Brennan. Yeah, I know. I don't yes, know. but I'm the supervisor of the recorded line. I need you to close the sale, Leonard. Wow. Uh, uh, Mr. Brennan, does this, this usually happen? Place? I never heard this before. Uh, this isn't our supervisor. It's either on your end. It's not on my end. I got I got one cell phone. It is on your end, Leonard. This is your no, supervisor. Not, sir. sir, now, like, listen, sir. If if you want to continue with this... I do. I'm asking you a question about an sir. address. And we're talking about right, the roof and, and the I'm, sun. I, I informed you that it all depends upon the exposure to your sun on the roof. And I don't know what a roof is. Roof, roof, roof. Uh, okay, what? So okay, sir. Okay, but it says on okay. a recorded line, does it not? No, I said on a recorded line. Right. So no, it's on a recorded line. That means somebody else on your end is listening. Yes, no, the right. supervisor is listening, Leonard. Let's close the sale, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. See, that's on your end. Goodbye. We're just trying to talk about. You can't even, you know, pronounce Goodbye. the word roof. Goodbye, Leonard. You're fired. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye for what? Goodbye. Leonard, what kind of salesman are you? I'm just asking questions, and you're blaming all this stuff on me. Leonard, clean out your desk. You're fired. Hello? Hello, James. My name's I'm a licensed lending officer. How are you doing today? Good. My colleague indicated that you're looking into some information regarding your home loan. Yeah, I'm looking to uh, get along and get married in a couple weeks and uh, trying to figure this out. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm sorry, can you hold on one second? I just got a delivery at the door. One second real quick. Thanks. Hello? Is someone on the phone? Yes. I guess my roommate was talking with you? Yeah, he said he just went to go answer the door. He's looking to talk to somebody about a home loan. Yep, that's me. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Yeah, I know it's a weird situation. I don't know if he told you, but he's getting married in a couple weeks and... Yeah, exactly what he said. He's looking to get married in a couple of weeks, and then he asked me to hold on while he ran to the door real quick. No, I know. He's he's paying for the food, but what he didn't tell you is this girl is a, a disaster. I mean, I hate to say it, but I can't see him and her getting a house together. Gotcha. Like a month ago, he was out of town, and 
you know, she kind of came on to me and we had an affair, and I don't know how to tell him, and I know now he's oh, no. trying to get this loan. Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. And you haven't told him yet? No, I haven't. I I mean, uh, he's coming back now. It's just, if you could tell him, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know how to tell him. I can't face him. So it, he, oh, here he's here right now. Hello? Yeah, sorry about that. No worries. Um, uh, your roommate just got on the phone for a few seconds, but um, tell me in your words, so you're getting married in a couple of weeks, and tell me what's going on. Hello? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Oh, you're still on? Yeah. Oh, um, all right, sorry. Did, did he tell you? Not what? yet. Not yet, what? It's like your roommate came on the phone and said that, the, and I, it's not my place, but the girl that you're going to marry like came on to him a few weeks and was like trying to have an affair with him although that you're about to get married to her so he didn't know how to tell you so he wanted me to tell you is this is this a joke no i i can't make this up i i'm a licensed lending officer it's not my place i have no i don't even want to do anything with this i don't i don't think it's a funny matter whatsoever that your roommate just came on the phone and just said that well, I just thought he could tell you better because he's on the phone with people all the time. And Are you being serious, though? Yeah. Why would you... So I mean... What are you talking about? Well, you were out of town like a month ago, and she came over, and, you know, next thing you know, we're you know, having some drinks, and one thing leads to another. What the hell's going on here? This is a joke. When was I out of town? When I went to visit my mom upstate? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Sir? Yeah. I I have no idea. It's just from what he said. I have no... I don't know who the person is, who it was that came on the phone. I thought you guys were probably joking with me at first. No, no, it's my roommate. Yeah. Guy I've known since high school. Man. It's not... I don't, I don't even want to get involved with this. I hate... But, I mean, like, you should at least know the truth as a guy to guy. Like, that's something you should definitely know before you get involved with somebody or consider marrying, you know, my two cents for whatever it's worth. Yeah, he's right. I mean, you should know, but I just didn't know how to tell you. So but, I mean, but you're my friend. I mean, that, you know. I mean, we only did it once. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that makes it better. I'm going to let you guys talk this out. No, I mean, what do you, I mean, no, I'm looking to get the loan. I want to get this, but. I'll I mean, give you a loan if you want to do home loan, but, like, I don't know what you should do with the person you're considering marrying. Like, that's that's a whole different world. What would you do? I mean, I don't even know. I'm just getting blindsided by this right now. They did it once. They're going to do it again. And that's all that you know about. Did you do it more than once? Uh, I mean, there was one other time we were just smoking a little weed and... I mean, what did you expect me to do? The not to. You're my friend. No, but we were, you know, we were drinking and stuff. <laughs> oh, so that makes it better? You know, I mean, you know she likes to drink. I, so what do you think? I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't even know how to think right now. I think you need to take some time to process what just happened. and. What would you do if you found out two weeks before your wedding? I mean... I've, I've had a girl cheat on me before. I gave her a second chance, and it was the worst mistake I ever made. <clears throat> she did it again? Yeah, absolutely. From man to man, your self-worth is way more than that, and you don't need that kind of person in your life. She She's she's really hot, though. I mean, that makes... That, that doesn't mean a thing, man. Pretty girls are a dime a dozen. Yeah. No, nah, but she's really hot. I mean... <clears throat> I just, you know, make I, it okay. Unless you guys have an open relationship and it's okay for you to sleep with other women. I mean, if that's what you guys are into, that's no. your own, you know. But no, not at all. To be monogamous and whatnot, then no, we're in a monogamous relationship, and it's just, you know, no, I mean, it's never dated someone this hot. I didn't last very long. If that helps. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, great. I don't know, man. I don't know either. I mean. That doesn't make it okay, just because someone's good looking. Looks fade. Yeah, you're right. I mean, but just to my, you know, friend saying, you know, he's trying to justify by saying he didn't last long. I mean, like, that's going to make me feel better. I mean, it's, 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 
I don't know. It's not my place, but I don't know what kind of friend would sleep with their friends. Well, she was a little more to blame because she was wearing, like, a short skirt, and she brought over a bottle of wine, so... If you were my friend, you wouldn't do this. It's unbelievable. I mean, when were you going to tell me? Why would you put it on this guy to tell me? I just figured he talks to a lot of people. He'd know how to tell you. <laughs> Makes no sense. I mean, sir, what would you do if you had a friend, the best friend I've known since high school, do this to you? I, my friends wouldn't do that, man. I hate to say this, but that's not okay. So you're saying he's not a real friend, then? I mean, unless you're okay with your friends sleeping with no. whoever you're going to marry, then, I mean, it's not my place again, man. And I'm, you guys are putting me in a weird spot because, like, I'm at work, I'm on a recorded line, and, like, and I'm, I can't give you advice on, like, stuff like that. But, I mean, like, look, man, I've been in this position, but it wasn't with, with somebody, it wasn't somebody who was my friend. I mean, it was just someone who cheated on me. And, like, you have to have your own boundaries and self-worth that, like, that's not okay no matter how good-looking somebody is. And you might need to reevaluate your friendship if you consider that a friend, if your friend would be willing to sleep with who you're going to marry. But then maybe, look, the guy's messed up for sleeping with her, but she's equally as messed up for doing the same thing. Because if she, this is all that you know about, and who's not to say that she's doing it with somebody else? Yeah, see, he's right. It's her fault. It, well, it's not just your fault. I mean, like, you're equal to blame because, I mean, you're involved. I use protection, man. though. It, I, mean, look, that, I don't know if that helps my friendship. It, it kind of sucks, man. But like anything you say right now, like it's not going to really have a lot of weight just because of like the severity of like what just happened. Right, but he's trying to get a loan, and that's a big thing. I mean, if he wants a home loan, man, we'll talk about it. If he wants to talk to me about that, I'll be more than happy to help. But I mean, like this relationship thing's a whole other deal. Right, well, he's just trying to play it off like, hey, man, you know, she she came over with a bottle of wine and a short skirt on. What was I supposed to do? Like, I'm. You know, like, it's okay, and I'm supposed to be friends with him and dump her. That's something you don't do with someone who you consider your friend. Like, I would never sleep with my best friend's girlfriend, or if she did or attempted to, I'd be telling him. I'd be like, hey, man, this girl's not all what you cracked out to be. Like, not do the deed and then come back and say, hey, I'm sorry. I think you should know. But, like, now it's, I mean, it's done. I mean, you've done it more than once, so if you knew it was wrong the first time and then you went back and did it again, I mean, come on, man. Well, no, but the second time she like she was like, "Do you want a massage?" And then she had the next thing you know, there's all this hot oil, and then you know, before I even knew it, she was like on top riding me. So I didn't really have time to yeah. think. When was this? Was that when I was away too? No, that one was a different time. Uh, he's justifying by saying, well, I, "I wore protection or I didn't last long." I mean, what what is that? It just comes from a place of guilt, man. It's one of those things where like trying to put together the pieces of people's actions sometimes is like almost impossible to get the pieces to the puzzle to fit. It's almost like where it's better just to walk away and know it's like it's not your, you know, you're better than that. I mean, if you do get this loan, dude, and, you know, if I say I'm sorry, I mean, could I still live in the house? Look, sir, would you want to still live with this guy? I mean, would you trust him? No way. Well, it's been like a month, I mean, since it happened. This is just in the past. It's amazing how people could just justify their actions by saying that, you know, it was a month ago, it was a while ago, and all this other stuff. Yeah, it kind of blows me away right now. Yeah, and then he has to give me details. Oh, she was on, she climbed on top. Like, I need to know that. Well, mostly I was on top, but that was just the one time. I mean, yeah. She's never given me a massage either. Now, all of a sudden, I've asked before, nah, I don't do that. I'm not good. She said you didn't like massages. I don't know. Should I cut both of them out of my life, sir? I, I'm just... I think you should. I'm numb. I think... I know. Yeah, I think you should get professional help. There's lots of ways to learn how to grow from this, you know? Yeah, but, w but what should my roommate do? Doctor. That's who I'm talking to. Oh, I thought you meant me. What should I do, then? <laughs> it's not my place. I'm not here to tell you what to do and not do, but, like, your roommate's engaged to get married to somebody you probably shouldn't sleep with them, right? I mean, it's just, like poor character. Do you feel any guilt over this at all? I mean, it doesn't even seem like he feels guilty. He's just, you know, saying because we're drinking and smoking weed and all this other stuff. And we'll cut top. So there's no guilt at all? No, there, I'm, I said I'm sorry, but I, I don't, don't even know what I do with my wedding in two weeks. How do I tell everyone? It's not your fault. She's going to blame it on me saying I wasn't around or I wasn't giving her enough affection or something, you know? 
Yeah, that's what she said. That's what she told you? Yeah. Uh. Well, I mean, I could sit way in the back at the wedding. There's going to be no wedding, man. Wedding's over. Yeah, that's going to solve it. No, I just don't want to be a distraction. No, I mean, yeah, good to sit way back at the wedding. So when she's walking up the aisle, she looks at you. I know. Are you on? Are you high or on drugs or something? No, I just told you that I did not explain it to him. That's why I needed help. Yeah, but it seems like you have, like, a false reality. No, but it it really happened. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I'm saying, of like, how you expect the wedding to continue despite this happening. And you're just going to go to the wedding and sit in the back like everything's okay? Uh, maybe I could just go to the reception, then. Oh, my God. It's just, I mean... I'm just blown away. Some no, I know. So what is, what's the difference if he sits in the front or the back? <laughs> I honestly thought this was a crank call. Like, I didn't believe you went to go get food, and he just happened to answer the phone and wanted to tell me this, and I was second-guessing, but it sounds like this is 100% real, and this actually happened. And of all the messed up things he just said, I do have to commend him on coming forward with the truth, because nobody should have to live with that guilt. And I'm actually thankful that he stepped forward and said it now, rather than let you go through with the marriage and with someone who's not honest and you're seeing the world through a different lens that you need to remove and actually see the raw deal. So I do have to commend him on that, but still on the same token. Like, he slept with her, she slept with him. It happened more than once. There's a whole lot of unpacking to do here, per se. I don't know how I could live with somebody who I can trust and not hold resentment. I'm not saying it's not possible to trust this person again in the future, but it's going to take a lot of work and a long time, and they have a long journey of self-healing and repair that they need to do on their own, too. It goes deeper than that when it goes into you don't know about sexually transmitted diseases. Like, no, I said we use protection now, so we're not yeah, to, I'm not the whole other channel, man. Like there he goes justifying it again, you know. Um, I guess I don't have to go to the wedding, and I don't even know if I could get the money back for the gift. But okay, look, man, you're just making it worse. I'm just trying to come clean. You said that was the best thing I could do is come clean and. Like I said, she was on top of me once. I was on top of her I, once. I don't need to know what. And then just one one time, you know, on all fours. That was it. That's <sighs> everything. Dude, I don't I don't need to hear that. All right, that was my that's my fiance. That's everything now. Oh, oh, great. So that's everything. So now I should feel better. Sir. Yeah, I'm just in shock. I I'm kind of in disbelief. I just heard everything that I did and James I'm sorry that you have to deal with this just know it's not you like any healthy person wouldn't do that to someone like you man doesn't make it okay doesn't change the person that you are just do the right thing if you're asking my opinion I don't think you should get married I think you should call it off and I think you need to take the time to reevaluate who you want in your life because I can't say that's the right person for you man and what about this what about my friend I I don't. I can't. I don't know how you have. How do you not hold resentment? He's kind of a little bit out of his mind from what he's saying. It doesn't make sense to me why he would say what he said. I agree with you too. I mean, he probably should marry her. So um, maybe it's not the right time to say it. But if you don't marry her, I don't. Do you mind if I start seeing her? <laughs> Are you kidding right now? I, Dude, you just told me that, you know, you had my fiance on all fours, which you would never do with me, and now you're asking me, can you can you see her if I dump her? Uh, and it's like, if you guys, he they can have each other, but, like, you, you don't need people like that in your life, man. Good riddance. Yeah. You know what I mean? First he's saying, yeah, I shouldn't have done it, that you shouldn't marry her, and then he's like, hey, can I date her if you dump her? I mean, what kind of friend is that? Sounds like he's confused, man. I I wish you guys the best of luck. Let me know. I'm here to help with whatever you need in the future. No, I, I you know you helped me through this. I'm still you know in shock and numb. I just you know the guys tell me what position he had my fiance in. It's like it's so inappropriate. I can't get that image out of my head. I hope we'll still be friends. I had few indiscretions. Yeah, but you tell me you want to go to the wedding and sit in the back. That makes sense. That's gonna make it all better. Right, sir? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how he thinks there's still going to be a wedding, first off, right? And then 
he thinks it's going to be okay that he can go to the wedding even if you were to get married, which I don't understand why you would. No, but I, like I said, I don't know if he can get the money back for the gift, and I rented a tux already, too. There's a deposit. You're worrying about the smallest things that have, like, in the grand scheme of things, have, like, so little, they're going to make no difference. No, but the deposit was, like, 75 bucks. Yeah, you're going to have to eat it, man. Hmm. <sighs> What do I tell everyone if I cancel a wedding two weeks out? Like, why? It's personal. Just, you don't have to tell them why. Just be like, hey, wedding's off. He should He should actually tell everyone why the wedding's off. I wouldn't trust him as far as you can throw him. From what, he's, his question, what he was saying on the phone and his responses, it doesn't sound like he's, in a, he's living in a different world than we are. Well, I mean, that's kind of rude. I mean, at least I was honest. I... I Hats off to you for being honest, man, but some of the things you're responding with make me question how you process the world. Can you date her if you guys break up? Like, why is that even a question right now? Like, what does it have to do with anything? Some chick is worth more than your friendship? Girls come and go all the time, man. It takes a long time to make an old friend, and that's something that you can't, like, replace. Because you're not going to be with her anymore. I mean, then I should at least be able to see her. Cause you're supposed to be friends with him while you're dating his ex fiance. I just won't bring her around. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't hang out with this guy anymore. She's really hot. I don't care, man. You need to shut up now. Like, I don't think anything else you say is going to benefit anything at this point. She's like a nine and a half. Oh my god. Okay, James. I'm going to hang up the phone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, sir. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. This is I'm calling from a health care enrollment center. Were you looking for an individual or family coverage? Um, Yeah, I mean, I could actually use it, yeah. So what were you looking for, individual? Individual. Or being perfect. Hello? Who's on the phone here? Is this still James? Um, well, yeah. This is my house. Why are you on the phone? I just came in because I had to use the bathroom. I was outside painting him. Yeah, but a painter. why would you pick up my phone, miss? Yes. I'm the homeowner here. My name's James. Now, my name's James, too, so when I just picked up, I didn't know if it was an emergency or something. You said James, and that's my name, and I could use some health insurance. Have you ever heard of anybody doing this, miss? No, I've never. This would be the first. I was just trying to be, I thought it was the courteous thing to do. It's none of your business. I just kept ringing and ringing, so I figured maybe it was something important. I don't know. But, but she wasn't calling for you. She's calling to my house. Well, can't you just give it to both of us? I mean, if... Yeah, of course I can, but the first James, the one that's not supposed to pick up the phone... That's you have me. ...have pre-existing medical conditions? No, but why are you still trying to sell the, the house painter this insurance? But I could use it, too. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, what? It, what my this is James. my home. But my name's James. Okay, 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 okay. The homeowner, the homeowner. But what about me? You were just you were just talking to me, and then he picked up. So now I'm left out in the cold. You got, you can't just walk into someone's home. I need you outside finishing the job. I need you done today. I told you. It'll get done. Well, not if you're in here on my phone. All righty, homeowner. So where, what were you looking for, an individual or a family plan? Well, I was looking for the family plan. I got I'm looking the, for an individual plan. For <laughs> We're just we're just gonna disregard the other person, okay? Well, which one? Well, not you. You're the homeowner. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, James, the homeowner. Yeah. How many adults and how many kids would be on your plan? Be two adults and and one child. James, the painter, wouldn't be. It would just be me. I don't have family, so. Miss, could you tell him to get off the phone, please? Sir, can you please get off the phone? But I need health insurance too. She didn't ask you if you need it. Do you need a paintbrush? That's what you need. Okay, James, the homeowner, I need your full attention, please. I'm, tr I'm trying, but there's a man in my hard. house. I know it's very hard. I know he keeps interrupting, but we're just let's just pretend he is not there. Is If we're able to find you a plan that meets all of your needs and is within your price range, is that something you're capable of setting up today? Yeah, I could do, t I could do it today. i got plenty of time. I did, he, she wasn't asking you, dude. Sir, sir. Miss, this is which James the painter. It, 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 would I be able I'm to get a plan to today? I'm not talking to the painter anymore. I'm not talking to the painter anymore. Why? You just were before. You said hopefully we can get home both a plan. Owner. Well, technically, I own I own a home too, so I'm James homeowner. Yeah, but I don't walk in your your house and answer your phone. 
Okay, James, the homeowner. Are you currently taking any medications? To see Alice. I'm not yeah, taking so any. What is that for? So I could get an erection? Huh? Hello, James? Yes. Good day to you. I am calling on a recorded line with insurance quotes. So are you interested in saving money? It's saving money on what? It's, it's, it's saving money on your car insurance, James. What, what's that? It is for your auto insurance. Do you currently have car insurance for it? I don't know. How would I know? So, James, I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent. So, could you please stay on the line? Stay on the line, okay? James? Yeah. Okay, so please stay on the line, okay? I'm going to transfer you now, okay? Stay on the line. James, is it okay for you if I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent? What? Is it okay for you if I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent? What do you mean? I'm going to trans. What I mean is I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent. So can you please stay on the line? Hello, James? Yeah. Okay, so please stay on the line, okay? James? Yeah. I would, I would just like to know if it's okay to you if I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent. So please stay on the line, okay? James, is it a yes or no? What? Is it okay for you if I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent? What do you mean? I'm go what I mean is I'm going to transfer you now to the licensed agent, so please stay on the line, okay? What's that? James, I want to know if it's okay to you or not. What do you mean? Yeah, it's it's okay now. Hello? Hello, Mr. James? Yeah. And throughout this round from on a recorded line. Yeah, I just had three quick questions before I could transfer you over. First time showing that you're in the state of New Jersey, is that correct? What's the other question? Because that one I'd rather not answer right now because I don't want to give out personal information. Okay, okay. Well, the well, second question, sir, is if we find a plan that meets your needs and the price is right, are you looking to purchase in the next 30 days? In the next 30 days? Yes. yes. That's a tough one to answer. What, what's the other one? Maybe I can answer that one first, and I'll go back to this one. Okay. Finally, are you currently insured with Plymouth Rock, or have you received a quote from them within the past 30 days? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't answer that one right now, but okay. maybe i go back to the first one. Then I'll try to think about it as I'm, you're asking me these other questions. Do you want to go ahead and think it over? No, no, I'd rather ask you one more time because I'm trying to, I put off the one to move to the next one, but then I wasn't sure about the next one. Okay. And then I put off that one, and then this one I couldn't answer right now either, but I'm going to think about it as you ask me the other questions. What was it again? Are you located in the state of New Jersey? Or you know, that's a tough one to answer. What about the other one? If you find a plan that meets your needs and the price is right, are you looking to purchase in the next 30 days? And what was the other one? And and finally, uh, are you currently insured with Plymouth Rock or have you received a quote from them within the past 30 days? <sighs> Man, you put me on the spot with that question. What, which ones do I have to answer? All three of them. Which one do I, do I have to answer first? Like, which is the first one? Uh, the one that's, uh, which state you live in, sir. If I can maybe go to the second one first, and then I'll go back to the first one, and then in the third. If, second, if we find a plan that meets your needs and the price is right, are you looking to purchase in the next 30 days? Can I skip that one for now and just go to the first one then? Okay, well, First, I am showing that you are in the state of New Jersey. Is that correct? What was the second one? If the price was right, are you looking to purchase in the next 30 days? I thought that was the first one. No, that was the second one. 
Yeah, but you asked me the second one first last time. Can you ask me the third one first? Uh, unfortunately, sir, my supervisor is going to come on the line, okay? No, but I, I'm talking to you. Would you like me to a ask you one more time? Or? Yeah, well, yeah, well, if you could start with the third one first. Are you currently insured with Plymouth Rock, or have you received a quote from there within the past 30 days? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're back to that one. What was the first one again? I, I'm showing that you are in the state of New Jersey. Is that correct? If you don't live in New Jersey, where state do you do live in? Because I got I, I to gotta give that information to to the agent. Right. You're asking me if I'm in the state of New Jersey, but then you said if you're not in the state of New Jersey, what state are you in? Okay. That's, a, that's a whole other separate question. So now that's four questions I got to answer. Hello, sir. Yeah. I'm one of the supervisors here. Uh, sir, I've been on the call and I've been listening, and he's given you three questions. Do you live in the state of New Jersey? And if you're looking to purchase a policy in the next 30 days, if the um, price is right. And then the next one is if you've spoken to Plymouth Rock in the past 30 days or if you're currently insured with Plymouth Rock right now. Are you asking me or is this a hypothetical right now? Hello? Good afternoon. My name's Chanel. I'm loan is this James Brennan? Yeah, why? Am I in trouble? Uh, no, sir. Were you wanting to refinance, lower your monthly rate? And the property uh, that you're wanting to refinance, sir, that's a single-family residence built from the ground up or a manufactured mobile and modular home? It's a single-family home, but I don't know if it was built from the ground up. I don't know how they built it. I wasn't there. House. Was it built somewhere else and brought to that property? I don't know. I bought, I bought it from someone else, so I didn't ask. Okay, yes, sir. So you're not sure if it's a, like a mobile home or not? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have wheels. I know that. Okay. So it's uh, is it like a concrete foundation? I never looked at it. I mean, what else would it be? I mean, we could definitely figure this out. Uh, as far as the mobile home, it does. It's not on. Doesn't have a steering wheel attached to it. You're not able to drive it off the property, correct? I don't know. Are you able to? Is it have a steering wheel attached to it, sir? Are you able to hook it up to a trailer and take it off? It depends what kind of trailer. You know, I mean, it's. It, I got a big enough one. So, in your home, sir, do you have a steering wheel? Well, I mean, on some things, like in the garage, there's steering wheels on stuff. I mean, attached to the home. No, but like on that, off. the sit-down lawnmower, it's got a steering okay, wheel. So, no, I'm talking about the home, sir. Not yeah, I know, but that is, no, that is in the home. You said about a steering wheel in the home. On the home. On the home. So, if you were able to put keys in the ignition on the home and drive it off, like the property know. would no longer be there and on the road. I don't know. I mean, that's, that? I, I never checked on that. You wouldn't be able to if the home didn't come with the steering wheel, sir, and the, all the stuff. Well, that's there. not true because you said you could move it with a trailer. Are you able to do that, sir? I, mean, I, we just can't I haven't tried. Unless we're able to answer these questions. But is it a single-family residence? What does that mean? Just a regular home, a regular two-bedroom. I don't know what a, bath, three what's the difference between a single family and a regular home with bedrooms. I mean, don't they all that have them? That is a regular home, sir. A single family residence is a regular home. But don't they all have bedrooms? Sir, do you want help assistance? I'm trying to help you. I'm out. trying to help you. I'm trying to we're give you a going, straight we're answer. Going in circles. But I told you I had steering wheels. As far as your property, is there any way you'll be able to look through your paperwork to see where it's labeled as far as the property type? No. Do you know who your loan is with? No. Already, yes, sir. So, unfortunately, I mean, without that information, we won't be able to help you. Well, the guy's last name was Jameson that I bought it from. I remember that. If I'm not able to classify which home property type it is, then I can't move forward with you. <clears throat> no, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a house. I, it's got bedrooms. I just need to know if it's built from the ground, if it's just a standard home. Like I said, I wasn't here when it was built. I don't know if it was built oh, from the ground. Up. They might have no, built it some other way. Let's say if you guys had a late payment and went for whatever reason we needed to come up to your property, you guys are able to move it before we get there. How the would I move the house? If it's a manufactured or a mobile home, it can be done. Do you really I'm think that one of your guys from your company is going to come to look for a payment and that there's going to be no house there? I am trying to help you. I've never it's seen possible. that. There's, you know, it's all of a sudden there's a house possible. missing it's in the neighborhood. Possible. I am just asking if you have a manufactured or mobile home. How am I going to know? I don't know. I wasn't here when they built it. Hello? Hello. Hi. My name is and I'm calling from the Improvement Program. Were you referred by anyone? Yeah. Do you know the sales rep that worked with them? Uh, he had brown hair. I know that. Brown hair. Yeah. All right. 
good. He was wearing a button-down shirt. Long hair, buffalo shirt. Right? Yeah, the shirt was out. It wasn't tucked in. I remember that part. All right, all right. Okay. He had a Honda Accord he pulled up in. I think it was a 2019. Oh, okay, all right. All right, sure, okay. And he had, a, mu he had a mustache. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. How many and he had a, he had a nice He had a nice watch on, too. I don't know if that makes a difference. Yes, that makes a lot of difference. I'm just asking if you were referred by anyone. So yeah, no, I was. That guy, Just yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to describe who he is. He had, like, those dockers on, those pants. All right. So how many windows? He had sneakers. The, the, the white, the white, yeah. So how many windows on? He had a windows? Miami Dolphins bumper sticker on the back of his car too. I remember that. If that helps on who it is. All right, that will be yes, that will be helpful. Right? So, you, yeah. so who is it then? What's the guy's name? Because I'm trying to remember. Honestly, right? I would not know the guy's name, but no, I know. But you asked that question about who would reference. I want to make sure the guy gets the. You know, the commission, because oh, okay. he referenced me. So how many windows? His pants were, his pants were kind of tight, too. Oh, okay. Okay. So how many windows? They were, uh, they were tan. Looking? The pants were tan, too, the color of them. Tanned. So moving on, right, how many windows? He had, on he had sunglasses on. Sunglasses. So how many windows? Yeah, and then he, he had a Florida Gators hat on. Okay, thank you. You know who he is now? I work in the office sector. Right, did you ever see the guy walking around in there with the brown yeah. hair and the No, no. The they doctors? were that on there and... Well, maybe you met him. Maybe he wasn't wearing that outfit that day, you know. So moving on, how many windows and doors are you looking to His install? His windows I'm were tinted okay. in the, the Honda. So, Mr. James, how much windows and doors are you looking to there, install? There wasn't a license plate in the front either. How many windows and doors are you looking to install? It, he was, estimators okay. He was right, listening to hip-hop when he pulled up. Sounded like Tupac or something. I'm not sure. It was like old. Mm -hmm. I know it wasn't like Drake or something. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. James, how much windows and doors? What? I just want to make sure that this guy gets credit, you know. I will send this full description and see if they can get this person out for you, okay? Could okay. you read it back to me? Because I'm not sure if I got everything in there. Sunglasses, brown hair, watch, right, brown skin, tight pants, Florida guitar hat, right, dolphin, bumper sticker, tinted windows, white shoes, mustache. There's a couple other ones you must have missed. I missed which one? Which ones did I miss? And he was listening That's to hip-hop. button, listening to hip-hop. Mm-hmm. How many windows? Oh, he those? wasn't wearing a seatbelt when he pulled up. That's right. Do I have to put that in? I'm sure there's someone at the company who's like, look, I don't believe in seatbelts, so then they're going to know exactly who it is. I don't think that's necessary. Well, sir, I have enough clues, and I'm sure that they will find this guy ASAP. Well, you should know, then, if, if I gave you enough clues. I would not know the guy, sir. I am not out on the field. He had a big bulge in the front. <laughs> Hello? This is Technical University on a recorded line. Can yes. you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, because I'm sorry. I'm on the train just going to New York City. Oh, are you? Just, hey, buddy, this is the quiet car. No phone calls. Relax. My goodness, how, how rude is that? You ever hear of a quiet car on a train? No. Anyway, so what were you saying? Do you, your spouse, or your parents have any military affiliation? Yeah, my wife was uh, in the air force. You shh, you shh. I'm not talking that loud. You shh, you shh. Is she a, a veteran now? Yeah. Or is she still it? No, she's a veteran now. Yeah. You, 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 nobody cares. Shh. Mind your business. I'm sorry, that's not that was to that but, guy, not you. Yeah, I know, I know. He's just being rude. Will you be using any of her benefits? Do you know? Well, yeah, I was using them before. Shh. You know what? Here. Miss, t talk to this guy for a second. Maybe you can calm him down here. Hello? I'm trying to conduct an interview with this man. Yeah, but we're in the quiet car. He's not supposed to be on the phone. Is there a sign that says no phones? Yeah. Well, you're louder than he is. 
and you're wasting a lot of energy in him. Well, how long is it going to take? Shh. Now you're talking loud. Shh. You shh. Now this guy's shushing me. Put him back on the phone and he'll be talking to me. All right. Here. Here's your phone. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Are you going to, so are you using her veterans benefits to go to school? Uh, no, she was going to do the paperwork. Hey, She's, shush. Shh. Yes, yes. I didn't shush you when you were on the phone with her. Yes, she did shush me. Miss, talk to him again real quick. Just tell him to stop so I can get through this call. Hello? You guys, you know what? Um, put him back on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight between. You know, being the referee. You two grown men. You you don't need to be doing that. Right, but he's in the, the quiet know. car and he's he's not even doing. I'm trying to do business. He's not trying to do business. Shh. You should. He is, Shh. he is conducting business. What kind of business? I'm enrolling him in school. Oh, I I was thinking about going back to school actually. Let me get finished with him and then I'll talk to you. Is this like an online college? Shh. Yes, it is. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to get into deal with this woman. I'm you go back, go to, back school. to school. So? So why are you talking to her? She called me. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Shh. No, come on, you guys. Give me your number, and then I'll call you when I'm done with him. 732. Shh. Shh. Why? I can't talk on the train? No, you get the quiet car. I don't, well, there's no sign. Here, you talk to her. Can I have my phone back here? Hello? Okay, so let's just kind of ignore him. You can't ignore me. Conductor. Yeah. Shh. What? What? He's tried to aggravate you. Yeah, and he's doing a good job. Okay, so let's tune him out. Do you know what year? Can you tell him to just move his seat because there's empty seats like three rows back here? No, I'm not going to do that. Hello. Well, I'm going to um, end this call, and you two can. Uh, well, I want to give you my number so you can call me back. All right. What is it? Seven three two. Mm-hmm. You shh. T- seven. Did you get that? Uh, yeah. Did you get that part? Yeah. You shush. You. Shush. Shut up. Shh. Shut up. Seven three two. Mm-hmm. You shush. Shush. Get my phone back. No. Shush. No. Now you're not. I'm keeping it. Seven three two. Shush. I got to give this woman my number. Oh, Miss. Wants my number. Yes. Did you tell him to move? No, I'm not doing that. Hello? Hi, James. I'm on a monitored line uh, responding to the life insurance request for you. Uh, I'll just take a water, please. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm at the okay. just at lunch. No problem. Um, um, and what was the benefit amount you were thinking? Uh, sir, um, we have a few specials. Uh, we, We've got, uh, I'm on the phone. Original Greek gyro. That's uh, One second, wrapped miss. in pita with lettuce, tomato, onions, and tzatziki sauce. Just give me two minutes. I'm on the phone. There's other specials. Okay, I'll, I'll, I just walked in. I'll be, I'll be good. Sorry, miss. Just wanted to know if you had a benefit range in mind. Beef with uh, rye bread. Okay, can you come back? Go to another table. I'm just on the phone. It's just a few specials. Miss, what do I do? I don't That's even okay. know what to do. The guy won't stop. I know. That was so awkward. My favorite is tuna salad milk special. It's on rye oh bread with grilled tomato, melted American cheese. I got it. You I got want, it. you want to order that? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I didn't even get a menu yet. Okay. Do you want me to select zero to 50,000? There's a crab cake okay. sandwich special. And you're in New Jersey, right? Oh, jeez. Golden fried Maryland <laughs> crab cakes on a hard roll with tartar sauce. Are you employed full time? Yeah, I am. Okay. There's and then I have James Bannon at Gmail for a good email. Roast beef, lettuce, tomato, raw onion, jalapeno, and mayo served on rye bread. You love that one. Are we done with the specials? Okay, but these aren't on the menu. Okay, that's fine. I'm just here for a late lunch. Miss, you ever encounter something like this? No, I can yeah. see that you're talking to someone else. So why would they? Why would they? I don't. And, yeah. And he sees me sitting here on my cell phone. I already told he him. Does, I'm sure you have your phone up to your ear. It's not like you know. Maybe he's slow. Maybe. There's a fried um, calamari special. It's a lightly breaded. And- Miss, can you talk to him for a second? Just knock some sense into him. Here. I, hello? He would like a few minutes. Can you just leave the table and come back when we're finished, please? We're doing business. Thank you. I know, but but my boss is going to get mad at me if I don't read all the specials. Okay. Give the gentleman the phone back and leave the table for a few minutes. He would like some privacy. Okay. Uh, this, there's just one more Thank special. You. Can you give it to him? Thank you. He doesn't, he doesn't want to know. He doesn't care. He needs to look at the menu anyway. It's a Southwest chicken taco special. Okay, cool. I'll let him know. It's uh, three flour tortillas. Okay. 
stuffed with we know, the chicken. Taco. Thank you. No, with Jack Cheese, though. Hey, I'm at work, too. So can you give the gentleman the phone back, please? Thank you. Will you tell him the Southwest sure. Chicken Southwest Tacos? Southwest Taco. Yep, yep. It's I got gotcha. you. Chicken Taco. Yeah. And just fried onions also. Sure. Okay. And uh, pico de gallo. And there's an appetizer sampler, too. Okay. All right. Sorry. Got my well, phone? I didn't know. Hello? Miss him. Hi. Sorry, I went to the bathroom. I saw him babbling, so I was like, let me just run real quick. Oh, I have. he wanted me to tell you that they have a Southwest chicken taco, too. So. He's standing right here still. He's not saying anything. Okay. But. Did she give you the special? Okay. Yeah, she did. She told me. Did she tell you what was on it? No, she didn't tell me what's on it, but I, I have a feeling it might be chicken. And grilled onions. And grilled onions. They're fried. <laughs> he said they're okay. fried. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's probably, this is probably the weirdest call for you and me both, huh? Well, how many specials okay. can a place have? Would you be interested in a crock of French onion soup? No, I'm, on, I'm good with the soup, dude. It's got cheese on it. I don't know what else to do. I mean, is there any other way I can get him to... He's just standing Does there. Does he have a boss? Isn't that boss watching him? I mean, this can't be the first time he's done this. He's just standing there like a weirdo right here. Let's just ignore him. Chicken Marcella Correct. special over linguine. That's, a, that's one of the specialties here. Miss, wow. just, just tell him to please stop. Here, so, Here what? take the phone. Take I don't know who phone. I'm talking I don't know to. I do anymore. Hey, um, yes. customer would like for you to give him some privacy. He would like to talk to me so that he can look at the menu and order. I'm not interrupting him. It? Yeah, you are. You are. You really are. He's given personal information. He would like for you to leave the table, like leave his space. Yeah. I didn't even tell him about the pan-fried beef liver. He doesn't want to know. He wants to look at the menu. I gave him the menu 10 minutes ago. Okay. That's got One fried onions. Time. That's got fried onions okay. and bacon. Okay. Hey, uh, give him the phone back and give him some privacy. All right. You know, the honey made bacon. Give him some privacy, too. please. No, 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 no. Stop talking to him and me. Leave the table and give him privacy. All right. There's a fruit cup. No, you're not talking anymore. Hello? Hi, this is with insurance quotes. I see we're interested in receiving auto insurance quotes. Yes. If we get disconnected, you can call 940-2791. One, 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 one. I can't. There's some kind of echo. I couldn't pick that last. Yeah, I hear it. Last so, couple is numbers. it on your end? No, I mean, I'm on my home phone, so. What was yeah, the end of that number in case we get disconnected? 2791. One, one, There it goes again. Wait, nine one two. I heard say ninety one. Sure, you're gonna be able to hear. Yeah, with this. Do you still hear the person over there? No, I don't. No, I don't hear him now. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's it, go again, and the whole number nine four zero. Nine four zero. Two seven nine. Nine one 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 one. They got that echo again. I don't know if you can hear me with that guy on the line with you. Nine four. Nine four zero. Okay, right. Two seven nine one. One two seven. One one one. I heard nine. Two seven nine one. One 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 one. This is frustrating, but nine four zero two seven. How about twenty seven ninety one? One one one. Twenty seven. Okay, can you please stop that? Whoever that is. I just want to get the number down. Ninety one. One 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 one. Not ninety. Sorry, what? Sir, sir, sir. Two seven nine. Are you done? No, no. Ninety one. One 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 one. What he's saying. You hear him, right? Right, right, right. Two seven nine one. Right, one, one, one. I just hear an echo. What the, so oh, what are they right. saying? Not an echo. They're saying one, one, one over one, and one. over again. Oh, oh, so but is it, so it's nine four zero oh, one 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 one. That's what they're saying. But it's not. It's nine it's four zero. Oh. Okay, can you listen? It's two seven. Yep. Nine, nine. One. One, 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 one. Trying to pick it up. Nine four zero. Oh. Listen, it's nine. Did you hear that number? Where's the nine in the numbers, it's though? What I'm saying, we're just right after the two seven, so it would be twenty seven, and right. then following twenty seven, it would be nine, 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 nine and nine, then nine, a one. one, 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 one. Could you spell it out, maybe the last number? O n e e e e e e. Just go back to the number because I'm getting confused now. I'm sorry. I'm just I didn't take my Adderall today, so I'm like. What is the first number like it, when you start to count? What do you mean? One, sir. One, 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 one. When I tell you the number, that there's like an echo, so 
there's nothing I can do about that. We have no way to give you the number, sir, because I keep reading it and you can't understand it. I'm trying to understand it. If you've heard all the other numbers, there's no reason why you can't hear the last four. I don't understand. I don't hear the echo anymore. Maybe it's gone. Nine one 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 which what was it? One one nine what? One 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 nine what? One 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 wait one what? That guy is running out of breath already. Who? Wait, nine one but there you go, you heard it. No but I thought you say it. Right, but nine but nine I thought it was nine four oh. Nine one. You already said nine one. One 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 twenty seven ninety one 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 one. So nine four oh nine one? That doesn't make sense. No, twenty seven ninety one. One 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 one. I cannot continue. Hello? Hi, James. I was notified to give you a call. You have an offer to purchase a home? Yeah, um, it's all right. My brother listens in. This is my first time doing this. He's going to help me out with this. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm sorry, my brother's uh, he has got his mask on. He's not vaccinated, oh, okay. so I don't know. You yeah, know. okay. Have you made an offer that's been accepted yet? Well, it's because we went with the realtor, and then she told us to... I'm having trouble hearing you. I just don't want to take, the, I don't want to take my mask off. He's not vaccinated, so he's a little concerned. Right. He might give it to you somehow over the phone. He said he saw oh, us. No, he can't, can't do it over the phone. So he wants to take off his mask and just tell me. No, but he said this new variant. I don't know. He's watching the news. That oh. You could spread it through the phone. All right. So he doesn't want to well, give it to anybody. I need to know the answer. I can't, I can't hear him. He's shaking his head. Nodding his head or he's shaking his head? Well, he's nodding his head yes or shaking his head no? He's kind of doing it both. Oh, no, no. He just he's nodded. He just nodded. No, I was fixing my mask. Use the word yes or use the word no without, without hand signals or moving his head. Tell them the what the real time what I want to have when I'm for the wedding and I come back from the cellar. We're we're waiting to hear back from the cellar, is that correct? No. No. No, see no. um yeah, I heard James, that. Uh, you're going to have to go and... Uh, and I'm afraid to get close to him because he's not vaccinated. Right, not not too so. close, but can you be in the next room, but close enough to... Uh, how far does it travel, room? though? Back? I don't know how close can I get to him. The, the CDC says six feet. S so as long as you're more than six feet... Six so feet. i got to measure that out. I mean, does it matter if I'm... What if I'm no, no. About three or four steps mm. away. Because every step for most people is about two and a half feet. But, sir, if my I'll foot size you, is 12, which it is, at three steps, that'd be 36. Right. That's only three feet. All right. James, I'm not talking about foot one foot over the other. other. I'm talking about distance. That means i got to go near him and walk three steps away from him. So I'm defeating the no, purpose. No, no, you don't. Estimate. Estimate. Can you hear me? Well, it's it's all muffled. I cannot hear. I just, you. sir, he's t he's taking yeah. your health and concern too, because he doesn't want yeah. you to catch it through the phone. Well, I can't. That's impossible. He's saying this new variant. You can. Well, he's crazy. But they I, said I, it I on, on CNN. I need it. I'm asking you a question, and I can't hear the answer. How much was the offer? Did you pick that up? What did you say? I don't know. I just. Can you tell me? I think there was a three in there. Not getting anywhere. All right. Did you wait? Did you hear a three? I heard. You know, I didn't hear. I heard. I was. I couldn't hear anything. No, I heard more than. Yeah. I heard like the, the three. That's what I heard. All right. Well, well, three's not enough. Well, we need. We need to have at least six digits. I told you I talked to a realtor to four, six, three, three. I'm going to send you an email, James. There was a four in there. I heard a four, too. So it's, we got four and three. We got two numbers. I didn't say four. Okay. Did you and hear four? I, I, have, I have to let you go. We're Why? We're going to communicate by email. How many James, feet did you say the CDC James, said? I'm going, to, I'm going to let you go. Why? It's six feet. Okay. What was the question again? Maybe we could, to, could we try it one more time? How much was the offer? And I need a real number. It can't be one number. It's got to be six of them together in hundred thousands. Something. James, I'm going to let you go now. Why? Goodbye, goodbye, James. The Expect an email from me. But my computer's near <laughs> Sir, the computer's near him, so i got to be six feet away from him. The computer's near, so I can't even get to the email. You know what? Why don't I just take the mask off? Hello? He just took the mask off, sir.